Now that the script has run and written out the text of all of the energies, I'm going to copy it out of the text file, paste it into Excel, and make some plots. Now what you'll notice is that there's three numbers across one piece of row A, and that's not uh, useful. So we go to the uh, data column and text to columns and say this is delimited by spaces. And we get the spaces separated out, except there's a space in front of the numbers. So it uh, gives us an extra column, which we'll just delete. Now I'm going to uh, create groups of um, for strain energy and, and kinetic energy. Um, I'll duplicate this uh, to move it down to another sheet. Let's make another sheet and take this copy and paste it in here. <coughs> and uh, so on this sheet, we'll, we'll call it the uh, strain energy sheet. And this will be the kinetic energy sheet. And it'll just be easier if we uh, delete that off one and delete this off the other. So now on the strain energy sheet, uh, we're going to take the six numbers and just pop them up next to this so that we can uh, make some charts. Oops. And then this is uh, mode one, and this is mode one through six, and this is body one. That's body one through four. And we don't need uh, we don't need these numbers anymore. So this makes it very easy to make a chart if we select those and go to insert. Um, charts will we'll go for a vertical arrangement of a stacked bar chart. So this is a good arrangement if you've got 200 modes because you can uh, use a taller graph and fit it on a page. And we might label this with the uh, strain energy. energy percentage by body. So we'll do the same thing on the um, kinetic energy side, which is just to take these six modes and park them next to body one. And if you're good at programming, you can certainly figure out how to do this with a bit less clicking and um, we'll call this mode one and body one. And uh, repeat that graph. And if for some reason you'd prefer a horizontal layout, you can copy this data and transpose it and plot it uh, this way with uh, horizontal bars. Just depends on your preference for the arrangement. All right, uh, that's um, 
that was the goal of the exercise is to compare the kinetic and potential energies by body and uh, for each mode so that we could make some design decisions on changing the design of bodies one, two, three, and four to um, typically to increase the natural frequencies, uh, potentially sometimes to decrease natural frequencies, but this gives you the information on um, which body to work on in the structure to achieve your goals. Thanks for watching.